Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing some Record Store Day unboxings for Record Store Day drop number three. This is the October 24th drop. All this stuff will be available online at our website at www.theingroove.com. This is Clutch, the ob obelisk. This is, I believe, 16 LPs and a signed 12 by 12 art print and a slip mat. But yeah, you kind of see what's on there. I think this is actually going to be one of the most valuable Record Store Day releases, just because this is limited according to Record Store Day's website to 500, and every one of them comes autographed. And it's not crazy expensive. I want to say this was around 250, but that's coming off of memory. Might be a little less or more, give or take a few bucks. But let's take a look. I mean, this looks like a real, like I said, they did a real solid job on this. So, let's see. Oh man, this is gonna be quite an unboxing because every single album is sealed inside. So that is the box. Real nice, high quality box. There is the autographed art print. You know, awesome when a band does something like this. And here are the albums. Oh, there's a slip mat. But we'll set that there. And we're gonna go buy these one at a time. Book of Bad Decisions. But uh, yeah, let's crack it open. This is a two LP set. A couple business cards for the Ghoul Wrangler. 24 hour hotline, licensed and bonded. All right, black vinyl. Looks like standard weight, you know, maybe 120 gram vinyl. A Little bit of paper scuffing there from being in the paper sleeve. Couple of specks in the dead wax there, a little bit dusty, a little paper scuffing. But yeah, hype sticker on the back of the record. Info on the front. All right. So I'm actually gonna just stuff these back in As we go, oh, cool Wrangler. Got to get that back in there in case I need to make a phone call later. All right. So it looks like these are all on standard gram you know, standard weight vinyl. Pressings don't look bad. A little bit of dust because they're, you know, a little bit of paper dust just because they're in paper inner sleeves. But I mean, they're in nice printed inner sleeves. It's just solid so far. I mean, and like I said, I want to say this is 250 in that range. You know, that is a lot of value for what you are actually getting here. Just gotta mix around. Earth Rocker. Nice printed inner. That's actually got a nice, uh, what is it? It's like a nice, uh, like a, 
yeah, the inside of the actual jacket is black, so it's not like a standard white. Lyric sheet on the back. Vinyl on this is real clean, even with the paper sleeve. There's really not any marks or scuffing on this at all. From Beale Street to Oblivion. This is a double. Side B. Side A. Again, nice printed inner sleeve. Little tiny mark there. Robot Hive. This is a double. Some of these albums have been in print pretty recently. Some of these albums have not been in print in a while and go for a decent amount of money. So maybe they're getting ready to do a big reissue campaign and this was kind of the beginning of that, that launch. That, you know, I kind of think that some of these will be released individually just because, you know, on that first album that we cracked, there was a hype sticker on the back. Vinyl shavings, yeah, a little bit of paper scuffing, which is always the case when you only have a paper jacket. But all right. Last Tyrant. All right, let's see. And the disc two, disc one. Yeah, so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five discs, you know, five individual albums. Five, a couple of picture discs. I mean, I think this is coming in at like less than 20 bucks a record. Plus you're getting the box, you're getting the autograph. Uh, 12 by 12, you're getting the slip mat. This is a solid deal. I really think this is the kind of stuff that record store days should be about. You know, where these lit bands go above and beyond to kind of put something out for their fans. And that's really what this is, you know. And
strange cousins from the West. This is an album I don't think I've ever had in the store. This is the first non-gatefold. First record also without a printed inner. And nothing in it. All right. Okay, so I guess we don't probably need to uh, do an opening of the picture discs. Limited edition picture disc. Pitchfork and lost needles. And we've got j jam room. Live at the Googleplex. Love the artwork on that one. So where are we at on that? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve albums. Multiple albums are devils. Full Fathom Five Audio Field Recordings, two thousand seven, two thousand and eight. It's funny how the last two albums actually were the. Uh, Slightly different, no printer inner sleeves on either of those. Side D and side C. And this, guys, is why I tell you always to clean your records when you get them new. People think, oh, I got a new record, it should be clean. Records are made in factories. They're not made, you know, where they're making medical instruments. They're made in dusty, old, dirty factories, generally with machines that are 60, 70 years old. So always clean your records. It's a little bit more of a requirement when you're dealing with records that come out of polyline inner sleeves, but it doesn't matter if you're cleaning or you know you're getting brand new audio file records. You always clean your records when they're new. But yeah, this is the obelisk, the clutch box set. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, all this stuff will be able to be purchased online at our website at one o'clock Eastern time. You know, we open a couple hours early uh, for the locals here in town, but anything that doesn't sell to the locals or I have extra, which there's going to be a lot. I got a ton of these and a ton of other record store day items coming, but all this stuff will be able to be purchased at one o'clock Eastern time on our website. Until next time, guys.